Hello friends, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. My name is Rachel and I am a full-time mama and a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a 90-day update for you on a Goodwill premium blue box that I purchased three months ago. So if you want to see what sold out of this box and if I actually made a profit, definitely stick around. So as with all my unboxings that I do on my channel, um, which has been pretty much the entire um, source of my inventory through my pregnancy, and now I have a newborn, I haven't done a ton of thrifting. So I get mostly everything through mystery boxes or liquidation, and uh, I always unbox live on this channel and come back. 90 days later and let you know what actually sold and if I made a profit. So if you like reseller content like that, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I post videos two to three times a week these days. Life with a newborn is a little bit crazy, but we're aiming for at least twice a week still. And uh, drop me a like if you find this helpful. That really does help out my channel a lot as well. So this was a Goodwill blue box and they had just... I haven't been on the site in a while, honestly, but they had just dropped a premium new with tag uh, box of 10 items and I wanted to give it a try. Um, I'll put the original unboxing down below if you want to check it out. But um, I remember when I first opened this, it's like the stuff in it was nice. You know, everything was new with tag. Um, it was decent stuff, but... Um, in my opinion, the cost of goods was a little bit high compared to what actually was in the box. I mean, it was a lot of bread and butter pieces, but I don't know that I would have necessarily paid, like, picked up and, and paid their price per item at the thrift store if I found these items, like, out in the wild. So this was 10 items for $76, and uh, that was including, like, the tax and shipping and everything. Um what I'll do is I'll go through what's sold. I'll put the screenshot here. Actually, um, nine out of the 10 items have sold. So that's really good. And then uh, I'll go over the profits at the end. And then I will talk about whether or not I think it was a good box and uh, whether or not I would order another one. So um, I had, let's start with the lowest profiting items. My and my cost was seventy six dollars and thirty cents per item. By the way, that's how it kind of worked out. Uh, I do an average cost of goods when I document these boxes. Um, so we're going with seven dollars and sixty three cents per item. Um, so the first item that sold was this club room men's button down shirt. Um, this was sold on Poshmark, thirteen dollars sold by offer. So actually, like if we're going by cost per item. This one, technically, I lost a little bit of money after the fees, but you know, it all it all works out in the end. Um, I had these blue shorts from the Limited. Um, both of these items, the shirt and the shorts, like I said, I, I don't know that I would have paid $7 at the thrift store if I found them, even though they were new with tag. Um, but these sold for $14 on Poshmark. Um, then I had this Calvin Klein sheer blouse. Um, this was a size extra large, so it was a good size. And considering that it was white, it was in good condition. Um, this sold for $17 on Poshmark. Then I had this Brooks Brothers light blue shirt, um, $12 sale on eBay. I didn't really have high hopes for this. I, You know, I didn't even know Brooks Brothers made women's clothing. And then the style of this did not seem super, like, in style right now. So um, I think somebody sent me an offer and I just accepted it. Uh, then I had these gray dress pants. These were Loft, Ann Taylor Loft. Um, these sold for $18 on Poshmark. I also had an Ann Taylor blue popover blouse. You, you'll see it in the original video, but um, because I'm a little bit over the 90 days on this one, and, and actually this one sold relatively quickly within the first week of listing. Um, it was a $15 eBay sale, and um, I don't have a screenshot for it because eBay only keeps the items that I can screenshot um, for 90 days. So unfortunately, I can't show you a picture of that one, but it was Ann Taylor and it was a $15 sale. Um, then I had a pair of Talbot's uh, tan dress pants. These were size 12 petite and uh, these sold on eBay for $16. I'm pretty sure that was an offer as well. 
um, there was this tan, um, like baby doll tank top from Torrid, which I thought was one of the best things in the box, which did sell on eBay for $27.99, which was my full asking price, I think. Um, it took a little while on that one. That one took almost the full 90 days, but, um, you know, new with Tag Torrid, you know, I, I probably would have picked that up at the thrift store. Um, in fact, that and then this next thing, which also um, was the highest profiting item in the box, this express dress, which sold on Poshmark for $45. I had it listed a little higher than that, I think, and I accepted an offer or I dropped the price. But either way, um, personally, like the, the Torrid top, Maybe not even at seven dollars and sixty three cents. My um, my Goodwills would have probably had that top for either like four fifty or five fifty, which I probably would have picked up if I found it new with tags. Um, and then the dress, the um, Goodwill, my Goodwill would have had that for seven dollars and twenty four cents. So this was seven sixty three. I probably would have picked that up as well. All the rest of it, I don't know that I would have picked up for $7.63. But, you know, it all sold, not for a ton. Um, the only thing that I do have left out of the 10 items is this Ralph Lauren. Well, it's Lauren Ralph Lauren, um, this ribbed sweater, which we're not really in sweater season anymore. So it's, I understand why that didn't sell. Um, so that one's still here. It is a size small and uh, the other nine have sold. So I, I spent $76 on this box and my profit as of right now is $84.32. So I've doubled my money. I've got one thing left. So there's not a huge potential to make any more than that. Um, was it worth it? I mean... Like I said, everything was in good condition. Lots of bread and butter brands. 10 items to make $84. I mean, that's double my money. So was this a good box? I mean, it wasn't terrible. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. Um, I don't know that I would buy another one. Just because the cost of goods for what they sent me... Um, I don't know that that was necessarily worth my time, especially because lately I've been much more into like liquidation, new with tag stuff. Um, but if you like thrifted items, it might be good for you. Um, let me know if you've ordered this box. Do you Have you had a similar experience or was yours any better? Um, I'd be interested to know how this compares to their regular like apparel box, new tag apparel box, which I've ordered several times. Um, the, the stuff in it wasn't necessarily worth more, I don't think, but it was priced higher. Um, so there's that. I guess I'd be interested to know if you've seen a difference between the two. But that is it for today. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Definitely drop me a like if you did. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have uh, some more 90 day updates coming up and some more unboxing videos. Um, I've got a whole lot of inventory coming in. So there'll be lots of unboxings coming up here soon. But uh, that is it for today. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next one.